Hey everyone, I promised to also do this video in English because I have amazing news. Uh, for new people who are watching this, my name is Suzanne and I've been battling a chronic illness for 20 years. It's called Hydranitis Superativa and it has a severe chronic inflammations of the skin. Um, I have been trying to get a new treatment, or actually it's an old treatment, uh, in Georgia raising money for it and finding information on it. And in my course of investigation of two years that I did after I watched the program, I came into contact with the Hydranitis Patients Alliance. And they gave me the name of a few doctors who are uh, specialized in Hydranitis Suprativa in the Netherlands, uh, who are also part of the European uh, Hydranitis uh, Conference who investigate different kinds of treatments for this illness and i came into contact with a research assistant in the uh, rotterdam medical hospital called erasmus hospital uh, erasmus medical center they are a hospital that does a lot of uh, trials a lot of uh, researches for new drugs uh, for uh, diseases and I came into contact with a research assistant and I told her that I was going, uh, planning to go to Georgia and uh, get the bacterial phage treatment. Well, bacterial phages have been uh, a hot topic in the Netherlands uh, for the last two years. More and more doctors are interested in working with it. Uh, it's a treatment uh, that is used in Georgia. It's just basic medical treatment there. Uh, for over 100 years now. People there who have infections first get bacterial phage treatment. After that, if that really doesn't work, they give them antibiotics. So uh, it's, it's basic medicine there. If you go to a doctor with a throat infection or a bladder infection, you will get bacterial phages. Um, so I wanted to try this, this treatment out and I wanted to do this in a way that I'm not the only one that is benefiting from me trying out this medicine. I want that doctors register my complete um, treatment uh, so they can check this out. If this is worth doing more research trials on uh, to help more people with uh, Hydra Denitis Suprativa all over the world. So I talked to the research assistant last week and I told her I was going to Georgia that they found bacteria in my infections and that I wanted to find a doctor, uh, a research doctor, who was interested in following my story. Hey Deborah, hi, how are you? <laughs> so I, I asked her if she, she knows any doctors in the Hydradenitis team, in the investigation team, in the, the researcher group, um, that would be interested in following uh, my story. So she said, well, I don't know. We don't know a lot about bacterial phages yet. Uh, uh, we do have some in interest for it, but we have a lot of investigations going as we speak. We have a lot of researches going. Um, I I'm not sure, but uh, maybe I can talk to the team, talk to the professor that is leading the team, if he might be interested in um, documenting this, documenting your health, documenting your, your journey with this treatment. So. At the end of that conversation, I felt a little bit disappointment, disappointed because um, um, it sounded to me like like they were not really that interested and too busy to 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 help uh, this. Um, so this morning, I got a call from the same research assistant, and she told me she spoke to the team and to the main professor, which is actually Professor Doctor Prentz. <laughs> That's his name. Um, and she told me that he was really, really, really interested in what I was going to do because he knew what bacterial phages was and he has an interest in it for, for many years now, but he's not allowed to prescribe anything to a hydranitis patient, uh, patients because it's not allowed in the Netherlands yet. So he was very, very interested that I was going to take this trip, going to do this treatment. So what they are going to do, and this is, this is amazing because this is the first time in the whole world this is happening with this illness. What they are going to do is a week before I go to Georgia, 
tour that a country again not the states the country it's a country near russia going to do my treatment there a week before i'm going to the hospital here in rotterdam to the research uh, facility and they are going to do a lot of checkups well, they are going to do blood tests, they are going to do swabs, they are going to take pictures of all my infections, they are going to monitor my health, all my blood pressure, all those kinds of things. They are going through my entire medical background, all the, uh, um, uh, the treatments that I got for this disease, that the age I had when I got the disease, how it spread over my body, um, uh, all the, the surgeries I had, they are going to, to look into that. And then I'm going to Georgia. I'm going to do the treatment for two weeks. Then I will come back to the Netherlands. And in the same week that I come back, they want to see me again. They're going to do another checkup to see if the bacteriophages did anything for my infection. Sorry, um, for uh, the bacteria in my in my blood, uh, the bacteria in my infections, um, the everything. They're going to do a whole another health checkup. They're going to make pictures again of the same spots they made pictures of uh, before I went. And after that, they are going to follow me because I have to take the bacterial phages chronically. I have to uh, keep taking them because it's not a cure. It's just curing the symptoms. So the, the inflammation and the, the things that cause the pain and the infections, that is what the bacterial phages will cure. So um, they are going to do a full workup on that and they will follow me throughout me taking the bacterial phages and also see what it does long term for me. So this is abs absolutely amazing, not just for me, but if this works and I have hopes that it will, because I spoke to a few people with this disease where it worked really, really well. If this works and they get the data of this, the before and after, they have a really, really, really good footstep to say, we need to do more investigation about this. We need to do more research about it. We have a woman we followed that, who, who used it that, wor that it works on, and we have to do more research. So this is amazing news, uh, not only for me, but for many, many people with this disease all over the world, because it will be the first official study of a person, and I'm just one person, so it's not a trial study yet, but it can be a footstep to a trial study. The fir I will be the first person in the world that they will study while using bacterial phages on this disease. So this is absolutely the most amazing news. I'm so thankful for these professors and these researchers that they want to follow this story because this can be, be, be a really big breakthrough for this disease. So this is, is just amazing. And I, I, this is what I hope to do. Um, I am raising money for this and I'm trying not to do this only for myself, that all the dona donations that go to, to this cause, to me getting this treatment, will not be in vain just for me, but for more people, because I want to make every cent count. And I think that's really, really, really important to more and more and more awareness of this disease and more research being done to treat this disease. So. I, I am, yeah, you told me, Kim, <laughs> that it would be a better day today. It really is. Uh, I also feel better today because my infections opened. So then I have less pain. So that's also really working. And then to get this on top of that, that these doctors stand behind me and I'm going to study this. This is, this is a godsend <laughs> for me. It really, really is. And um, I'm really hoping to help a lot of people with this. Uh, we keep our fingers crossed because there's still a chance it won't do anything because everybody is different. And uh, even with the basic treatments uh, that they already use in the Netherlands and America and other countries, some people they work for, some people they don't. So this is a another treatment where that can happen. But I'm really ho hopeful because I heard a lot of people having good results, but none of these people were studied before and during and after the treatment so i think it's really important that we start doing this start researching more and reaching doctors with new things we try out so thank you so much for all the donations already done if you want to support this more we need just i think 1400 euros to go 
before I can go to Georgia and get the treatment. So if you want to donate, I am so grateful for you to, to, to get the chance to do this treatment and to maybe in, in the future also help other people. So even if you're just donating four euros, it doesn't matter. Uh, 4,000 people donating four euros is a lot of money. <laughs> so even if you can just donate that, or maybe you can go, if you just want to donate one euro or one dollar, that's also possible. You can go to the um, Facebook uh, fundraiser that Elisa Gogotti started for me. Uh, she's a saint that she did that. She's so kind. Then you can even uh, donate a, a smaller amount, but every cent is a step closer to treatments and to this study that the doctors are going to do on me. So uh, I'm thanking you from the bottom of my heart that everybody is supporting me and uh, keep it coming because I want to do good for all the people with Hidranita Superativa because they are worth that. They are living daily with a lot of pain and a lot of sorrow. And I, maybe this is a, a treatment without side effects because that's the most important thing about this treatment. It doesn't have any side effects that can change their lives, give them their lives back and, and have less flare-ups, less boils, less pain, less sorrow. So that would be absolutely amazing. So thank you all. This was my good news from today. And I will vlog everything. I will record everything. When I'm going to Rotterdam, I will take pictures and even ask the researchers if I can make a little vlog. So I can show you guys every step of the way because you are with me, you're supporting me and I want to show you where your money goes because I think it's really important. So have a lovely day. And again, thank you so much. If you can still do a donation, I will be forever grateful. And uh, well, for all the people supporting, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are all my heroes. So have, lo have a lovely day, guys. Bye.